Joining us today to talk about holiday joy unloading our trash is Dr. Bill Baker. Dr. Baker is a licensed professional counselor as well as a licensed marriage and family therapist. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, I'm glad to be here, Linda. A very much needed topic to talk about. How does emotional baggage affect our holiday joy? Well, most of us look forward to the holidays with great joy, but here's the problem, Linda. Our joy can be destroyed or at least hindered by taking our emotional garbage or trash into the holiday season. Mm -hmm. Now, by trash, I mean things like, well, tension from, uh, you know, past grudges we've had or resentments from past events mm -hmm. or anxiety from past fears or maybe things just like a shame from past secrets we've had or hurt from past losses we've had and we have all this garbage that builds up inside of us and it threatens our holiday joy. Why do we hold on to it? Well, it's hard to let go of it. Um, I, I could have an awareness problem. I don't know that I have any trash. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a problem with attitude. Um, I know it, but I don't want to let it go. Mm -hmm. I want to hold on to my trash. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a problem with ability. I want to let it go, but I just don't know how. Mm -hmm. But we need to learn how to unload our trash. Okay, could you please give us some tools or techniques and help us let go of the trash? <laughs> well, over the years as a therapist, I've worked with many, many people mm -hmm. who are trying to find ways to, shall we say, unload their emotional trash. It begins with choice followed by change. I make a choice. I choose to unload my trash. Now, change involves a number of possible things like, well, focusing on forgiveness. If I'm having a problem with someone or it's a past issue, I need to forgive others, forgive myself as best I can, try to work out the conflicts, uh, work out the differences, and then try to let them go. Now, what I like to do is to take those, shall we say, trash items, all those resentments and all hurts and everything, make a list of them, write them down on paper, and then I can do several things with them. I can flush out my system, <laughs> go in the bathroom and write them on toilet tissue and flush them down the toilet and say, ah, good riddance and, and goodbye. Or I might take them and, and fire up the altar. I might burn them in the fireplace, burn them in a safe container, and maybe from a spirit perspective, offer those up to God. I could do that. I could take a garbage bag and put those papers in the garbage bag, take out the trash and dump them in the dumpster and say, hey, it's gone. Or I could put them in a box or something and go out in the backyard, dig a little burial plot, bury those things, and then from that point on, when these things come to mind, Linda, I say, hey, I've let it go. It's in the garbage can. It's in the ground. It, Does it it's really gone. work? Does that really well, work? Well, nothing works 100%. But if I can reduce my baggage, let's say, by 50%, 70%, or whatever, mm -hmm. then I go into these holiday events with much more joy than I could have had if I carried my entire bag of garbage with me into those holiday events. Dr. Baker, thank you so much. You have given us some tools and techniques to use to get well, rid of that emotional you. baggage. Well, trash removal achieves stronger health and special holidays. Thank you so much.